In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create the spray paint effect 100% in After Effects. We're gonna start with a blank composition and with our pen tool selected up here, I'm gonna draw a weight shape. Let's call that spray line because we always label our layers and let's increase the stroke width to 150 as well. And let's give a rounded cap to the edge of this stroke by searching cap in the search bar down here and change it from butt cap to round cap. Now let's select add over here and choose trim parts, toggle this down here and around two seconds in, we're gonna keyframe the end position at 100% and then near the start, I'm just gonna drag that down to zero. Now we have our line drawing on. Let's easy ease both of those by pressing F9. So it's just a little bit smoother. And then I might just go to the graph editor and tweak those a touch. Now we're gonna make it look like spray paint by adding the effect rough and edges. Let's take the scale way down to 10 and then take the border way up, maybe to something like 75. And from here, we can maybe just tweak the stroke width until we get a natural look that we want for kind of our average width of the line that we're painting. That looks pretty good to me. Now we want some variety in the width of the spray. So let's select this layer and duplicate it with Control plus D, rename that spray start. And on the spray start layer, let's increase the stroke width to something like 250 and change the border width to maybe 140. So we get a much larger spray. Let's also go into our evolution options and just change the random seed to something else. So we get a slightly different splatter that's different from the layer underneath. And then we're gonna select our pen tool and make sure we have tool creates mask selected up here. And we're just gonna draw a shape around the beginning of our spray and then kind of taper that off as it goes to the middle. So now we can see we've got a much bigger blob here in the center. Now, one thing that does happen with the rough and edges effect sometimes is we get this sort of straight line where it crops it off for reasons I don't really understand, but a way to get around that is to just add another mask above that layer that doesn't even affect anything and that will fix that problem. I don't know why it happens, but this fixes it. Let's tape that a bit more so it looks a bit more natural. Now the beginning, the spray paint just sort of pops on in this large spray and I kind of want to see this sort of circle build up out of the middle which will look more like realistic spray paint. So let's press U on our keyboard to open up the keyframes and at the very start I'm going to change its percentage to 0.1 so there's always that little bit of spray paint at the beginning and we want to keyframe the stroke width. So let's search for that property over here, keyframe that and at the very start of the comp change that down to zero so it kind of builds up but we do want much less of a gradient at the beginning here as well so I'm going to keyframe the border and then at the beginning of that change the border of the rough and edges down to zero as well there we go and let's easy ease all of those keyframes and let's actually move these back keyframes over a little bit so it finishes just as the movement starts there that's looking good now let's duplicate this layer I'm going to select our mask by double clicking on it and let's just move this over to the end and then adjust that mask to line up with the end of the spray and there we have the end, just get a bit more variety in our main spray line. We're gonna do a similar thing, get a pen tool, make sure tool creates mask is selected and draw a couple of masks to just edge into the spray paint line. And we wanna press M on our keyboard and make sure that mask is selected to subtract. So it cuts into our line. And let's draw one on the other side of this line as well. And I'm gonna spend some time adjusting these to make sure it kind of tapers and looks natural and doesn't just look like a big chunk has been taken out of our line. There, our main spray is done. Now let's add some drips. A quick word about this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with so much to explore, create real projects and learn from the best in the industry. You get access to all of their classes. You can dig deep into topics you're already skilled in or explore brand new topics. Some classes that I've been watching and getting enormous inspiration from are Animation for Illustration, Creating Layered GIFs with Photoshop and After Effects by Abby Lossing, where she breaks down the process of using video layers in Photoshop to animate your character. I also love the course Simple Character Animation, Create a Walk Cycle and Do It with Fravid Davidson, who is an absolutely amazing character animator, so you know you're getting it straight from the best. And Animating for Illustration, Adding Movement with Procreate and Photoshop by Lizzie Vanderplug. A Skillshare annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And for unlimited access to the top tier classes from such amazing artists and industry experts, that's unbelievable value. I'm not sure I do believe it, but you should believe it because it's true. The first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership. Now let's add some drips. Let's select our rectangle tool up here, select a fill of black and remove the stroke. 
and we're just going to draw a long skinny line much longer than we need it to be and then select that pen tool and on a new layer we're just going to draw a drip at the end of that something like this bring up that blob scale property around four seconds in let's keyframe it scale at 100 and then at the very beginning let's scale that down until it kind of matches the width of our line here wonderful and let's parent that to our drip line using the pick whip and we see this drip growing over time let's keyframe the position of that drip p on the keyboard at four seconds again and then at the beginning of our comp let's move that line up a fair bit and let's easy ease these last two keyframes with f9 now let's see the drip that's probably moving a bit too fast so let's move that position down at the start and at the end that drip actually looks probably a bit too big so let's just decrease that scale there we are we've got a drip let's select both of those layers and pre-comp it with Control shift c now let's go into this drip pre-comp and i'm going to select the region of interest tool here and i'm just going to select and drag that around our drip and then go up to composition crop comp to region of interest and that's just going to resize this comp so this is going to be a lot more manageable this is what inside this comp looks like, just our drip falling down. Now back in our main spray paint comp, I'm gonna move this over to our start of our spray here. And at the very start, I wanna line this up with our first drip here. So by the time the spray finishes, our drip is just about to slide down, which is around 15 frames in. And I'm gonna trim this drip by pressing Alt and the left square bracket on my keyboard. So it doesn't appear until here. And then we have it dripping down to get rid of this extra drip that we don't need at the top here. I'm going to select my rectangle tool and just draw over the area that we want visible. There we are. And it is looking a bit too straight and perfect. So we're going to add a turbulent displace effect. And I'm going to change the amount to 10 and the size to something, maybe 40. So then now it doesn't drip in a quite so much a straight line. There's some slight variance here. And then we're just going to duplicate that layer, move it over to our end here. Maybe change the evolution of that turbulent displace a bit and then just shift it over until the timings match up. Maybe move this one a bit further down and extend our mask. So we get a longer drip and do that once more. And then we have our finished spray paint ready to composite onto our wall. I've got a new comp with an image of a wall and I'm just gonna drag our spray paint in over the top and add the fill effect. And let's choose a purple color Let's scale it down a bit more to fit our wall. So the size of the spray kind of matches the size of the bricks and change the blending mode to multiply. Now, if you want your paint to be a paler color, let's say a white, we're gonna to need to change the blending mode to screen or maybe something like normal would work as well. And let's set the opacity down to maybe 75%. So we can see that wall texture underneath it. Now you will need to adapt this based on what color your paint is and what color your wall is. So take some time to play with the different blending modes and maybe even try combining a couple by duplicating this layer and choosing a different blending mode for the one on top and see what works best for your scene. Now I have two bonus pro moves to really elevate this effect. The first one is to add the effect liquify. Uh, select the smudge tool over here. Let's change our brush size down a fair bit as well. And then zoom in close to our bricks and we're just gonna nudge our paint effect in between the gaps between the bricks where our drips are. So now when they fall down, they kind of dip inwards. Marvelous. Those little details can really make it much more believable. And if you wanna put your spray paint onto a wall that has some perspective involved, instead of facing us straight on, we can simply add the effect power pin and then drag these corners of that effect to line up with the wall. And now your paint is in perfect perspective and you can deface public and private property all from the comfort of your own home. You can have a closer look at this in the project file, which is available to download free in the description. I've made a short playlist of some related videos that I think you'll enjoy if you've made it this far. I'll see you in the next video and please consider subscribing if you'd like more of these videos every week.